categories that we got from various data. And that was the most difficult part because without that common linkage, it would be impossible for us to analyze and hook up the data together. So we developed some in-house lookups which would map various crime categories together. We took the help of subject matter experts to make sure that our lookups were all proper so that no matter what data source we get, what crime category it produces, they all match up to an internal crime category which would be common across all data sets. So all these things were performed at the data processing layer. They would all get then persisted to the ADFS and blob storage. Then comes the analytics part. We would have typically map reduce functions that would analyze the data for whatever queries that a user would have. We also wanted to do something on Hive, mainly because uh, Hive is easier for people to use. They could just write a SQL query. They don't have to write MapReduce code, but using SQL query, they could get back some answers. But the problem that happens is that uh, Hive or MapReduce, they take a lot of time to actually get back to you. It doesn't matter about the volume of data that it has to compute, but it takes a standard amount of time to do the computations because it's a batch processing mode. So it's not very suitable for an ad hoc services or ad hoc querying. So what we had to do was we had to persist most of the responses for most of the common queries into a SQL server, which could either be on prime or on the cloud, and then have the Power BI go against it so that whenever a business user was accessing the Power BI dashboard, the response 